Good evening everyone. I say evening because I'm currently filming at 1 o'clock in the morning and I felt like making a video. So I'm going to go over bad water and where you're meant to build your sentry and all over buildings and stuff in case you don't know. Bad water is pretty much like a favourite map of a lot of people. It's pretty much Roma Central. If you're a medic you probably don't like this map. A lot of engineers kind of find this map boring I guess because of a lot of standard spots just like you hold there for a while and you're just sort of sitting there twiddling with your thumbs. If you don't know the sound of the spots, I'll get right in. So when you spawn, build teleporter. If you've got an organized team, you can get your scout to suicide right here, so you can just run right through. You don't really need that many suicides. You probably don't need any suicides at all. Two would probably be recommended just so you can get a quick setup. But basically, if I already had full metal, standard spot is sentry up here on the side basically so when they push in through the tunnel here your sentry just can immediately start shooting them and put it like right up to the edge and metal comes back you want to either set up your dispenser around here or maybe a bit closer to you around here So this is not going to be like perfectly timed because showing exactly where to place them and there's no suicides. Teleporter usually goes round about here, make sure it isn't actually on the health kit so people can still pick up the health kit. Some people like to put the exit around here which is still a valid spot. I personally don't like it because if a spy came through here then it's like oh look it's coming up here and you have to kind of check in. Well, if he's here, it's just like, oh, I'm an going to be on the dispenser. You can just go through and immediately go for a stab. So, I'll level up your sentry. There are a bunch of sentry spots you can do here, but this is sort of like the standard one whenever you're on pubs or, or on lobbies. Basically, because there's two ways you can use a sentry when you're holding. You can use the sentry as sort of the actual main deterrent, where if you go towards the point, the sentry kills them or you can have the sentry as cover while your team holds the point. So basically you can have your sentry around about here and it will just sort of like if people come through the tunnel or they're pushing the cart through the tunnel the sentry will immediately start shooting them and then they don't want to do it until they don't want to push the cart until they've taken out the sentry. Now this place is exposed usually you have a sniper come up here and a direct hit soldier to try and take out your sentry but you should be able to wrangle maybe your pyro will help out. But I personally like running my sentry spot round about here. That way if someone's coming up from around there, they don't have immediate like line of sight on the sentry. And so when they come around the corner, I've got like a lot of no a lot of uh, focus fire onto the heavy. So if our pirate air blasts the heavy, he just flies right off the edge. Now this doesn't directly cover the cart, this covers our team so that our team can cover the cart. So it doesn't always work. This is this is more for like if you have a, if you're confident in your team, or maybe you're in a pub and your demo man is just carrying and you're like, right, he's gonna just stop the cart so I can play it safe here and we can hold the point for extra time. You can also oh, have man. the sentry roundabout, I believe it's here. This is a spot I've seen in a lot of North American play. Basically it makes it so when people come around the corner here they've immediately got to deal with the sentry so it generally denies being around this cliff so you can have more of a forward hold on the cliff. It means it could be taken down more unless your team is more aggressive because if your team is, if say your demo man gets sniped while he's around here and his sniper's over there then the enemy is going to be more aggressive and can apply way more pressure to the sentry. And if you lose the sentry and your demo man, you've probably lost this point. So it depends how confident you are of your team. I see other engineers basically just setting up over here. It's not really that kind of spot. It doesn't really accomplish much. I mean, if you're just in a pub and like there's already an engineer up there, then go ahead, set it up on the air. Just watch out for spies because basically spies can crouch jump up here and just jump back. Also they can hide in this little hole here. 
which is a pretty good blind spot. So also when you're holding around here, you can get up here, so watch out for spies here. And this little blind spot here, which uh pirates wouldn't want to check. Um when you're like just holding this point, you most likely want to run either Eureka effect if you're not so confident in your team. Or if you're feeling ballsy, you can run Rescue Ranger and your wrench of choice. I'm personally doing Jag for this because Jag allows me to pick up my sentry again and rebuild it really quickly, which can be very useful if you're like using aggressive sentries and you want to pull them back and immediately have them set up again. But usually when you're running Rescue Ranger, you might want to have something like the Normal Wrench or the Southern Hospitality for that extra damage. Because if you have Wrench or Southern Hospitality, you can two hit a spy if he allows you to get two melee hits on him. While Jag, it takes about two or three, assuming he isn't using Dead Ringer. Not that I encourage really wrenching spies, because most of the time they can end up matadoring you if they know what they're doing. It's just like getting damage in with a rescue ranger and then hitting with like a wrench. It's it's more useful. Um, so when they're pushing in to the point, you can either like stall for time and then like stand in the corner here. Like I recommend standing on the edge here and doing a rescue ranger taunt because the rescue ranger taunt immediately initiates if you like leave the surface. So if you get air blasted off, you get rocketed off, or you just fall off, you, t you can't taunt slide with the Eureka effect, but if you get launched off while doing the taunt, you immediately activate it. So you can just sort of stand here, get hit by a rocket while your sentry goes down and immediately go back to spawn and then go and set up on roof. Or if you're feeling ballsy, you can sort of jump away. I wouldn't recommend jumping away with your sentry because that's kind of the thing that holds them back while you get away. You probably want to jump away with your dispenser because like a dispenser with full metal will get you a sentry set up on um, next point. You can also do this with like Frontier Justice or Shotgun if you're adept at like rocket jumping with the sentry or you just you know you can just pick up your sentry and run away because obviously you won't take the mini crits from the rescue ranger so you won't really be hunted down by the scout as much. So you can usually just like jump away, pick up your sentry, sort of run away. Now second point You wanna sort of like, as as again, there's like the defending your team or defending the objective kind of thing, where you can have it around about here. I'm just edging it around so that this little bit here is still in the line of sight of the engineer. You can have your dispenser here. I used to put my dispenser around here and I see a lot of engineers do it, but as I found out, spies can crouch on top of that and use that to get on top of the vent and then like a Adept Cloak and Dagger Spy. I'm saying Adept a lot. An Adept Cloak and Dagger Spy can sort of sit up on here, wait um, for the right time, jump down and stab when a push comes in. Um, teleporter can go around about here, just because if someone teleports through, they've still got a bit of protection here. If a sniper's around there, he can't immediately decapitate you. Uh, sentry could go around here if if you want to protect your team more or there's already sentries around just because it will cover this roof the only problem being that like because of those stairs where it's a slope a demo man would see that sentry and just sort of like crouch near the stairs and just fire over but most likely you just want it to have over the edge so it kind of denies the people around here and if they're coming around here as long as your combo is being aggressive it should be able to deal with them um, if you are on roof and basically the roof gets taken, like they've pushed off, maybe you've lost first and you've lost your medic and your heavy and your demo, so you don't feel confident going right onto roof, you could set up your sentry round about here so it's so you can wrangle it to uh, shoot people on the roof, put your dispenser around here because it's a little bit safe. You want to watch out for spies, and then if your demo assume, uh, if your team assumes control of the roof again, you can just jump back up here and then set up your sentry. 
I'd recommend uh, not rocket jumping as much, especially if you're playing against relatively decent enemies, just because they'll take advantage of that and just focus you down. But usually people are like, engineer can jump, and they just like, they don't expect when suddenly a sentry is on a roof within a split second. But on third, third can get tricky, because like, there's an aggressive sentry spot around about here, which can work if you've got your combo quite close to bridge house around here, so that they've got like control of this area. If people come from underneath or from the side, you've got a sentry here. I personally don't like it that much. Generally, sentry spot by window over here is like the best. Because even though it doesn't like have full view of that door, you can always just wrangle it. It's got like full view of where the cart's coming from. You can set up your dispenser around here to just sort of like give you ammo and give you kind of a little shield. The problem is that snipers and soldiers will come from over there and just take it out straight away. And maybe you'll, they'll notice that you'll keep coming back with the ammo. So they'll take advantage of that and just shoot you. Um, if you have your sentry like close around here, maybe around here, I've seen this being used in North America, it doesn't work that much in EU. Like I've seen a lot of engineers attempt it, but in EU we're like way too passive that this just gets focused down straight away, so I would not recommend. But don't put your sentry there. Just like if your sentry's up window, this is a really good trick for people who are unaware. You can put your dispenser, try and edge it like right to the edge, put it here. Put dispenser here. This is like if you don't really need your metal as much, like you're not getting harassed constantly. And your team is quite aggressive, because basically it makes your sentry base a very powerful stronghold where you don't need a pyro to protect you. Because most of the time you won't have a pyro babysitting you, contrary to popular belief. A lot of times in low divisions, they'll have Pyro just constantly babysit, but really Pyro should be with the combo, or maybe even close to the flanks. He'll only really be with you on like first points and last points where time is essential. But basically, having this dispenser spot here makes it so spies can't get up here. Look, you can crouch jump, you can't get up here. You'd have to sap it or shoot the dispenser, or try and get rid of it, to be able to get past this spot, in which you can just go, oh, someone's hurting my dispenser, there's a spy, he gets called out, he's kind of trapped around this area here now, so it's like, if the spy goes after this, he's going to get called out, and he's most likely going to die, because the combo is going to be around here, and the pirate's going to be like, oh, I'm just going to spray around here now. So, spy goes around here, he's like, oh crap, this engineer knows what he's doing, and then he's like, crap, I can't go after the sentry. So he just goes and does something else. So yeah, that's like a really strong dispenser spot. You want to be like very precise of how you do it. Because a lot of times I've been like, oh, I'm just going to put this down. And then Spice can just walk through here. Yeah. Third point is pretty good. Uh, if you've got like a scramble hold or a passive hold, you can set up around here just because you have this max ammo kit. And then when you regain control, you could rocket haul up onto there, and then go back around and set up onto window. Or you can have your sentry around here, if you're going to get pestered a little bit more. I'm moving this. And uh, down here there's a lot of spots on last. A lot of spots. Standard spot is round about here. Cool. Set up dispenser in the corner here. I'm not sure what this place is called, I call it Shadow just because it's really dark around here and it kind of scares me because the spike can just defloat here and you won't really see him. Uh, you can set up your sentry here, this is usually when like the cart is really close to the point and you want some solid defense. Watch out for people falling down. This isn't really a spot you'd use as much unless it's very important. Because usually when the cart is really close and my villain's been taken down, I'll just go gunslinger anyway. There's a spot on the map for him, which is a good angle. You can put your dispenser around here. A good tactic, actually. Let's place your entrance here. 
and your exit here. So basically, you can have your sentry here, spy will go in and call it, and just be like, oh, our sentry's in the map room. They'll come in with like an uber, drop down here, you're like, holy crap. You can then just like, pick up your dispenser of your rescue ranger, or just pick it up yourself, which whatever's quickest, or even your sentry if you feel ballsy enough, and then you can just be like, escape! And then you can just, don't go into spawn, because if you go into spawn it will automatically blow up your building. But you can then sort of like set it up over here, or just sort of hide around here while they're confused to where you're gone. I personally have a bind, like backslash is bound to destroy entrance, for not sure what reason. Can't actually remember. But that would just mean you can go through and be like, ha, see you later, spy, and you just go away. And then they're kind of like, what, what happened? And then you can sort of like set up your sentry again, which is kind of cool. You can also set up your sentry up here, next to spawn, but eh, you probably don't want to, just because you're going to get sniped. It's kind of a one you'd use if you're getting assaulted from the side, and even then, you shouldn't really be out here as an engineer if your sentry is going to get spammed. But um, you should probably go on like attack. Attack is like very subjective just because there isn't much expected since you're usually running minis. Usually. Oh, I remember now I have a engine spines because you can like do that freaking engineer cap hole where you just fly into the air. Uh, usually it's like cart duty for engineer, like when you know that it's safe. You can just immediately run out here, check the stickies, get on the car. What I like doing initially is placing a mini sentry around here and a dispenser. So while you're on the car, you get your metal back. You've got this mini to cover, so if people are aggressive on the rock or they bomb in, you've got a little bit of cover for your medic coming up the cliff. This dispenser here, so if you get pushed out of tunnel, you can just sort of back up around here. You've just got like your first base around here can't really push forward, but um, want to be going through tunnel, snipe, there's usually snipers around here, scouts watching the end of here, you want to come through the tunnel, maybe like build a mini around here, so as you come through the tunnel, if people drop down, your mini will just be in the back, just shooting at them, you want to always have a mini alive, being annoying, because it's the most annoying thing in the world, and people will hate you for it, and... Maybe you want to put a mini around here so people coming off the um, roof will be less inclined because there is this I'm ultimate beast there. down here. When you cap, like setting up teleporter, teleporter right and, Pow. well, dispenser around here, having put the entrance down e maybe after dispenser. I've died. Forgot about that. Um, just have this around here. You can put your mini sentry round about here as sort of like a makeshift area just because it covers a lot of this. Then you want to sort of like poke around, watch out for snipers around here. It's actually a valid tactic because this is like quite a stalematey point that the red spy often goes dead ringer and just sort of like pesters around the cart just because he can use dead ringer and just like heal off the cart and get um, feigns repeatedly and just be like just zoning the car. So you can be around here, you can place some minis down. It's kind of boring. Um, then you have this point, then you can start setting up your teleporter around here, put your dispenser around here, your sentry forward here. If you're holding quite close into pushing bridge house, like you've got it, you can put dispenser around here or here. I personally don't put it around here because a lot of demos aren't aware of this, but I've definitely seen it a lot in the uh, golden plat, where if you're on that side you can spam over the roof and then pills will land around here and just destroy you. So usually you don't want to stand around here anyway, because soldier can jump up there and just immediately bomb. Uh, can't really go in there. Push the cart, push the cart, push the cart, push the cart. Cap it. Dispenser around here. I like rotating my exit around here just because it's a little blind spot. Having put the entrance at spawn. Mini sentry quite close. 
another tactic because they're being quite aggressive. Let's put your mini sentry around here and just be an absolute dick. So it's like, you can't beat this, and they just come around here and just get shot at. So, mostly on like the last push, you want to be keeping your teleporter up just because you want to have constant pressure around here. Maybe if you're feeling ballsy, you can rotate to level 3s and just like come through here in a push and then just like put a level 3 sentry in the um, red room window and it'll just be annoying. It's a good tactic, but usually Pyro is holding the map room, red room map room. Let me just take a drink. So going in there is probably a bad idea. So pushing, pushing, pushing the car, place down more minis, make them regret going scout. Push, push the cart, and you've won. Maybe once you push the cart and you know your team is gonna get some cart pushing, you can come up here, build a mini, and just sort of like zone this point and spawn camp, basically. So yeah, not sure if I've missed much of engineer. I guess a lot of it is down to preference whether you use these sentry spots. I guess I don't go over more of um, why you would build in certain places. Like basically first point, like in a lot of payloads actually, um, I believe probably not as much on upward. Swift water definitely. Swift water has the thing where the first point is kind of disposable and it's like an island where if you, once the enemy team capture first point, you're kind of trapped, because it's like, oh, the point's there, they can come there for health. You guys are still around here, the teleporter's been taken down, and basically they've got free access to just come through this tunnel and just like jump up from this side, so the combo is trapped. That's why I like running Rescue Ranger if I'm not confident in my team as much, just because it's like, oh, we're trapped here now, time to go back to base. So usually on first point, if you've even if you've got like a really strong base, just press tab. If your medics like drop, your heavy goes down. Maybe you just see people are dying a lot. You might just want to run away back to um, roof because even if you've got a sentry, you're just going to get swarmed really quick. Roof is a really strong hold, but then again, if you don't have your combo and everyone's died on A, you don't want to be setting up on B just because they can immediately run in and you kind of just jump off here and hope the sniper doesn't shoot you as you're running away. If everyone dies on A, you might as well just like set up around here and uh, hope for the best. Usually you can do sort of the solo hold on the window if you're on a pub where you can sort of like place your dispenser here to piss off spies and put your sentry around here. At which point when you have like a sentry up there and it's doing a lot of work, a lot of players feel inclined to go pyro for you anyway. Because engineers who know what they're doing on pubs is quite a rare sight, because usually you just get engineers who just, I am going to build in this corner and no one's going to kill me, Kate. At which point people just see you and they're like, right, I'm going to bait people towards him and otherwise he's going to be kind of useless. But uh... Last point can be tricky just because from all the little entry points. So when you're holding around here, you want to watch out for spies a lot. I mean, if if you're really paranoid, you can sort of bang way around here for spies just because it's a bit lighter. You can, I mean, there's less room to escape really though. Yeah, this guy's. Oh yeah, there's like the spot up there. Okay, so like another thing quickly is. Don't build your dispenser around here or around here because you can get up here as a spy if I can get up here as an engineer. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get up here. Yeah, there we go. You just have to like strafe jump. But yeah, this is a cool spot for Cloak and Dagger. This is why I use Cloak and Dagger because I like being a sneaky bastard. Okay. So, up here, there's another spot which I've actually seen used in matches and it's kind of effective. 
where you kind of have your sentry around here, your spence around here, and it's lo it's like bar Barn Blitz last, where you're kind of like next to spawn in this little hidey hole. You set up a sentry at the door, and you're like, no one can get me now. So like, spies could jump over here, decloak, and stab you, and you think, oh, there's my sentry here, and that's um, in this place is quite close. So you'd hear the decloak a lot of times in matches if you're having comms and stuff going on you won't really hear a decloak if he's there and you're here unless you've got your game volume really loud so you kinda wanna be checking your back every so often one thing that's probably not recommended is if you're around here just sort of like constantly strafe around to avoid snipers and if you bump something you know it's a spy I wouldn't really recommend that as much just cause you'll be backing up into a spy stabbing you but Basically, you have your sentry here, you go to wrangle, you poke out your head, and then immediately there's a sniper there who just headshots you. So, usually on last, you want to be there, there, or there if you're kind of scared. But yeah. I think that's it. Thanks for watching.